So this is part two. Do you know what the role of the Holy Spirit is? Here's why God sent him and why you need to accept him. Number four, he's a source of revelation, wisdom, and power. Check out the scriptures that I have listed here on the screen. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10 through 11, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, and Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 through 20. Number five, he guides us to all truth and knowledge of what is to come. Let's look at John chapter 16, verse 13. However, when he, the spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you the things to come. Number six, he gives Give spiritual gifts to believers. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 11. It's going to be kind of long, so I'm going to walk through it. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healings by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as He wills. These are three more of the roles of the Holy Spirit. 